Today we're going to be doing a shower, so the very first thing I have to do is I have to come down to the shower room and check to make sure that it's clean and that the air temperature is warm. Um, a lot of facilities have an independent thermostat in their shower room or their tub room, so you can bump it up a little bit just so your patient can be comfortable during the shower. Then I'm going to get my supplies and bring them down to the shower room. I'm going to have several washcloths and towels, a bath blanket, a pair of gloves. I have shampoo and I have my soap. I have lotion, deodorant, and powder if my patient um, likes to use those things. So now I'm going to go down to my patient's room and get my patient and help them to go to the toilet if they need to. So I brought my patient down to the shower room and I have my supplies with me. My patient's already gone to the bathroom and I placed my patient in the shower chair. So I'm going to assist my patient to take off her clothing. Before I take off her clothing, I'm going to cover her with the bath blanket to protect her privacy. After I remove her gown, I'm going to put this gown in the hamper. And then I'm going to take a bath, a uh, regular towel, bath towel here. And I'm going to cover up her genitalia with this just so she has a little bit more privacy. Because when she gets into the shower, um, I'm going to remove her bath blanket. And I don't want her to be completely exposed. At this point, I'm going to turn the shower on and making sure that the temperature is 105 degrees. And then I'm going to remove the bath blanket. And double check the water, make sure it's comfortable. And then I'm going to assist my patient into the shower. Now, once she's in the shower, I'm going to cover, I'm going to rinse her from head to toe, but I'm going to check her pl or care plan to make sure I, if I have to wash her hair or not. And actually, um, Mrs. Jacobson gets her hair done in the beauty parlor, so I won't be washing her hair today, but if I needed to, I would start with her hair, rinse her hair, and shampoo it. So I'm going to go ahead and help her wash what she needs help with. I'm going to go ahead and give her the soapy rag. If she was able to wash any parts of her own body herself, she could do that. And then I would help her with the areas she couldn't reach. Like most people can't reach their back um, or their legs or their feet if I'm helping them. So I'm going to help her get all cleaned up. Then I'm going to apply my gloves and do peri care, and then remove my gloves, dispose of them, and then I'm going to shut off the water and then assist Mrs. Jacobson to get dried off. I've used towels, and I can also use her bath blanket to help her dry off.
and um, then I'm going to, after she's dried off, I'm going to assist her to dress and groom and put my supplies back and assist her back to her room. So after I returned my patient to their room, I went to make sure I did my ending five, took care of my patient. Now I come back down to the shower and make sure I have all my supplies put away and disinfect the shower and the shower chair per facility policy and then wash my hands.